everyone, it's Eva and recently I've been watching a lot of eBay hauls and that was kind of like me thinking, hey, I haven't shopped on eBay in a very long time. That used to be the first site that I went on to buy things when I first got a credit card and it was kind of like, all right, let's just go back and see what kind of junk there is to buy on there because eBay is very interesting. It's very hit or miss, mostly miss, but if it's like one to two or two things, it's kind of like a fun gamble even though you don't actually see the results until months later or never at all because some of the things I ordered have not come in and it's been like three months so I will let you guys know what the products those are and what sellers those are so if you guys are in Canada don't order from them by the way before I start this have you guys subscribed yet because you guys totally should just click the button down below as well as the bell notification and give me a thumbs up if you want to see a clothing edition because I did order some clothes and again some of them didn't come in so I will let you guys know which stores not to order from as well as how they turned out because I haven't tried them out yet and they're all over there and I I need to really film that video <laughs> anyways let's just get into what I got okay so the first thing I got was this thing real descriptive Eva this thing so the first thing I got is this thing which is basically a brush cleaner it's called a brush egg it was a dollar and it has it's basically rubber or silicone and it has all these ridges on here and it's kind of like that giant brush cleaning glove that you've seen online or those boards that people DIY and stuff and honestly those are either really expensive, really excessive, or really big. And I'm like, I don't I don't wanna buy something that's gonna take up so much space and whatnot. So I got this mini thing that I found, which is amazing because I never knew mini ones existed like this. And you basically slip your fingers in and wash it around under the water or with soap. I think honestly having this to help me wash my brushes is gonna make me wash my brushes more because I have a bad habit of not washing them at all, so. This is much needed. Next thing I got was a tripod because I actually broke my tripod in Mexico if I dropped my camera and then the tripod broke. And then I tried to fix it with super glue and I broke it even more. <laughs> First of all, yes it does sound up and everything, but... Well, okay, apparently this happens. Basically, I put my digital camera up here. My digital camera is not that heavy and I'm not going to put a DSLR on this because this is... This is really tiny and that thing is gigantic. But anyways, I put it on and basically all that happened was poof, like it just fell. Like there's no way of holding it up and stuff. It just wobbles everywhere. There's just not enough strength, I guess. Does this thing actually come apart? No. Oh, it does come apart. I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to come apart like that, but I was just curious. But anyways, this tripod's basically useless to me unless you have something super light that you want to put on it. But like, honestly, it can't even hold up my digital camera, so. I don't know what to do with it. I might trash it, I might save it and see if I can do anything with it because I'm a weird hoarder, but we'll see. Next thing I got was a really cute choker and I can't use this because I broke it myself. It was a really cute one that was like two strings and it had like a little triangle thing right here and you kind of just hold it like this. Now if you're wondering why it's in two pieces, it's because Things from eBay, well it's a dollar so you expect it to not be like the most amazing material and everything but I was just opening the package up with scissors and I was cutting, cutting, cutting like whatever and when I opened up the package apparently I also cut the choker so that kind of gives you an idea of how cheap everything is and by the way I bought jewelry from eBay for like cheap jewelry and honestly that stuff breaks so quickly like I've broken so many necklaces the first time I've ever worn them and I didn't even do anything it's not like I pulled on it or anything it just it breaks so in terms of jewelry not very durable but it's nice if like you're doing photo shoots or something and you're not looking for something more permanent so yeah, that's what happened. I did also order some lashes. In fact, I have five pairs right here. Usually I don't order them in these like individual packages. Usually I get like the 10 pack for like two to three dollars, but just because I just felt like trying these single packs to see if the quality was better. I haven't actually tried any of them yet, but to be honest, they don't look bad. They look similar to the quality of the 10 packs, so it might be better to just get the 10 packs. All right, so I got these two pairs for $1.09, and then I got these two for a dollar. This is all in Canadian, by the way. Uh, but honestly, they look pretty identical. The pictures look slightly different, but honestly, the, all of these lashes look identical to me. They all, they do also look a little too long for my eyes, but I gotta try them on to see how it is. And then this is the fifth one, which is a little more than a dollar. It's two dollars and twenty-one cents. Yeah, these are pretty soft. I don't know if they're actually genuinely mink because I felt the mink lashes and they're really soft. These ones are like okay soft. All right, so these next few things are kind of gimmicky and they're all kind of like in the same thing, which is like weird. Asian products 
And I got them because I was like, maybe one day I want to do like a testing weird Asian products type of video. So the first thing I got is a slim mouthpiece. This was 99 cents. It's called the Facial Muscle Smile Eraser Mouth Toning Slim Piece Toner Flex Cheek Tool. Basically, you just put it in your mouth and what is it, huh? I test. I don't know, man. <laughs> Moving on, I got this 3 in 1 eyelash comb template applicator to mascara shield makeup brush. And it's pretty straightforward. Like, you guys have seen people do this with business cards to make sure your mascara doesn't get on your skin while you're putting it on and whatnot. You kind of just like stick it on there and use it. Yeah, you, get, you guys know what this is. And lastly, in that section, we have the Eyebrow Grooming Stencil Kits Templates Women Makeup Shaping Shaper DIY Tool. Yo, can I get a trophy for like saying all these things in one breath or something? Okay, but anyways, this is an eyebrow template which I don't think is gonna work at all to be honest. But I just got it just cause, I don't know, maybe I want to do it for a future video. But you basically just stick it on your eyebrow like this. Wait, why are these eyebrows? Okay, okay, you stick it on your eyebrows like this. And you're supposed to fill it in like that, I guess. And then I have another choker which is called Gift Fashion Retro Jewelry Simple Chain Leather Choker Necklace Collar. Okay, right, so let me open this up. I got this because I want a plain black thick choker and I don't have one at all. And it basically looks like this. This one I did not cut by accident actually. I'm glad they packaged it really tiny and everything so I wouldn't cut it. It is a little folded up but whatever. This actually does feel like better material than the other one just because if you look on the inside it is folded over so it is double layered. The other one was single layered. But I think this one should fit in everything. Oh, well, if I do like it, you guys will see me wear it in my flipbooks and Instagram pictures. If I didn't see the price yet, this was a dollar. Oops. Okay, so this one I'm really excited about. It's not makeup related or anything. It's actually kitchen related. <laughs> Alright, so it is this silicone thing that's sticky apparently. No, it's not sticky. Oh, it's probably to keep it from being dirty. Okay. Okay, so it's basically the silicone matte sheet thing that's super stretchy apparently. I'm actually so curious to stretch this out and see how far I can stretch out. Oh, it is sticky. It does stick to itself. It's like saran wrap. Okay, so basically it's the silicone matte that kind of sticks to itself. It basically replaces saran wrap on top of like bowls and plates and stuff. And I like it because it's reusable, you can wash it and everything, so you don't always have to keep buying saran wrap. And I have a problem of kind of just pulling long sheets because I'm impatient, moving it across the room for reasons beyond just being lazy and not wanting to carry around the entire roll. And just having it all stick to each other like this. And it's like, I can't use the saran wrap anymore. And no matter how hard I try and pull it apart, it's just, it's not gonna be like the same way it was before. Okay, so I have two types of bowls right now. I have this metal, I don't know what the heck this is made out of. Oh, stainless steel. And this ceramic, I believe, type of bowl for rice. So let's see if this sticks onto this bowl. So just place it on top like this. I mean, you don't even have to fold the sides down. Like, it already makes it pretty um, protected like this. I didn't think that would work on it. I thought it would have to be like ceramic or something. All right, so next up is this tiny little bowl. I mean, this one sticks more to the sides. So I don't think you actually need to fold it down because it kind of just sticks onto the rim of things already. I like this thing. I think I'm gonna order quite a few more for when I go to Texas. Okay, so surprisingly this does actually work. I was kind of skeptical about it, but it does. And it also works for large things apparently. I don't have a large enough pole to test this on. But because it's stretchy, it's supposed to fit over any size thing. And I think I'm definitely gonna get a few more for when I go to Texas. Next thing I got is the Sale Sexy Transfer Tattoo Instant Eyeshadow Eyeliner Eye Sticker. Now, this is not eyeshadow whatsoever, so I don't even know why that's in there. But this is supposed to be those eyeliner tattoos, which I don't think they would fit either because my eyes are pretty small to be honest. They're pretty short as well. So these are gonna either need lots of trimming or lots of work to put on. But nonetheless, I just thought it might be fun for like a future video of some sorts. Maybe I'll lump it into the Asian things type of video, but we'll see, we'll see. By the way, if you guys do wanna see the Testing Weird Asian Products video, who would you want me to collab with for it? 
So this is called the Pretty Popular Waterproof Magic Fruity Smell Changeable Color Lipstick Lip Cream. I'm not going to put this on my lips because I kind of don't trust putting this stuff on my lips because I don't know what this stuff is made out of. I don't trust it. For all I know, there could be lead in it. Who knows? And it was a dollar, so I really don't trust it at all. But I will swatch it on my hands and let me actually smell it first. I mean, yeah, it smells kind of fruity. Ew, this gross. I don't like this color. <laughs> it smells kind of fruity. It smells like the cheap like kids makeup that you would wear back then and supposedly when you put it on it's supposed to like oxidize with your skin or something. I don't know but it's supposed to it's supposed to give you like a nice shade of some sort that's supposed to change color. So um here's one swatch. Here's two swatch. And here's four swatch. It does seem to be turning red. Now the thing that I'm curious about is that like does it all turn the same shade? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Mm, nah, I don't, I don't know why that part is so red. Err. Anyways, so this is the shade that it basically turns into. Um, I don't know, I don't know what I was expecting out of this. I, I just thought it'd be fun for a dollar. Okay, so the last thing I have is actually not a dollar, just like everything else, but I bought it because I was kind of like, what in the world is this? There's no way this is a thing. And it is called the Sexy Matte Lipstick Evil Mushroom Long Lasting Moisturizing Lip Gloss Makeup. CLD, whatever the heck that means. And basically, well, the image looks like an evil mushroom, I can say that. I was just kind of wondering, what does it actually look like in person? Like, there's no way it's that detailed. And let's just figure it out. I don't think I'm allowed to show this on camera. Um, oof. All right, I don't know if I'm allowed to show this on camera, so I might blur this out depending on how visible it is. But it's definitely very phallic looking, I can say that. It is very detailed, I have to say. And um, I think this would be fun as like a gay gift for someone, but this is kind of gross looking. All I can say is that it looks very detailed. And why the heck does something like this exist? Like, I don't understand. I feel like I just swatch this because it's not like I'm going to give it to anybody because this is kind of gross as a present and I mean it could be funny and everything but I don't want anybody to use this on their lips because again like I don't know what is on this so I guess we gonna swatch this uh this very inappropriate lipstick wow can you see this like wow that glides on like butter this glides on a lot better than the color changing one and it's very very pigmented i have to say okay for something so inappropriate and kind of like a gay gift i have to say it's pretty damn good on my hands again i'm not gonna use this on my lips because i don't know what the heck was used to make this but uh i guess if you guys want something as a gay gift that is very phallic looking then i would recommend this <laughs> Cause this is actually pretty funny if it was like a gift maybe for like a bachelorette party or something. Alright, so that's everything from our $1 eBay haul and I have to say most of these things were less than a dollar or a dollar anyways, like 99 cents to the dollar. These are Canadian prices by the way, so I'm guessing if you do go on to the American eBay then obviously the prices are probably a lot lower. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys do want to see more of this, then I did order a few more things off eBay, but I didn't actually look for like stupid things for a dollar because I did want to buy things for myself that I would need. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Give me a big thumbs up. And I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I did not receive, and I'm just going to show like a little picture thing over here. But some things that I did not receive that did not come in the mail, but these people did refund me my money back just because it was like, it's been three months, like where's my product? <laughs> First thing are these lip tattoos, next thing are these spatulas, and then next thing are these silicone sponges. I actually bought two of the sponges. I bought one with the face because I thought it looked stupid and funny and I wanted it. And I also bought a plain one from another store. And then I got, I got this stupid cat mirror just for no reason because it was a dollar and I'm like, this looks stupid, I want it. But anyways, if you guys do want to see more videos, make sure that you are subscribed and with the notification bell. Not to mention you can follow me on my social media if you want to see just more of me. But yeah, give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!